Well, howdy y'all. Welcome on back to the channel and to the first day of winter dove season. And we're out here at a field that me and old dad have hunted before. LFD, everyone's favorite all-American dad right here. Let's do it. Man, you're looking good. You got some new gear. Thank you. You're, you're decked out, ready to go do some dove hunting. The thing that's pretty special about what me and dad do when we go bird hunting which isn't very often but when we get the opportunity we like to break out some old you know classics and you just recently got a new is this completing your collection it yet? is I get, but this is not my 20 this is a 12. i've got the 20 i've got the 16 and i've got the 12. you've got the 12. all remington all remington so browning I actually made that A5 model Remington, I think, borrowed the patent or paid to use the patent back in the day, and they made these humpback shotguns. Dad gave me one. I have a 12 gauge, so it's got a, that really funky barrel into it with the odd choke, just a weird design. That barrel actually moves all the way back when you fire, and it, it's actually a nice recoil absorption absorption they're just I, fun I to just, break out look at collect i just love the technology i mean you think about it the barrel shifting back to reduce the recoil you know so you would wouldn't you know bruise your shoulder every time you shot it we're gonna go try to get some doves so we have uh we have a pond here i think this is winter wheat that's out here but i believe it used to be sorghum so we're trying to look for any residual birds i see one flying right there across the Across that little stretch there see him yeah flying low yep. could be a field lark it has been snowing north of us so hope they're flying and let's hope they die in let's load up I got the pack shells good to go man I'm gonna walk this uh, little fence line here see if I can spook one and pop any and then uh, I might do a little pond walk. Oh, 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 here we go. There's one. Where's he going? Okay. Cracks my leads. Terrible shot I am. But it's fun to try. Oh, there's a hawk. Don't want to shoot that one. Laid on the, the GoPro to turn on, but we got our first one. I've just walked about a mile and a half, and uh, I just wasn't seeing anything sitting still, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna walk this field. And I just pushed one up. Pretty dove. Really beautiful dove. One shot. One bird down. I've seen only like four doves, mostly field larks. I'm gonna walk this uh, more black dirt field. I'm not sure what's in there, but I think there might be more doves than that. So, hey, we got one for the bacon wrap, baby. Field lark. I don't see any doves flying though. Activity level on all bird species pretty high. Just the doveys. I've seen one fly over the field in the last 10 minutes. I've seen probably seven or eight doves total, but most of them have just gotten up and just flown back down into the field. Kind of mixed in with some larks. There's really no way I could get to them. So really just one that's been passing through. And the one I got in my pack, I spooked it up. So it sucks if you're wondering. If you want a dove hunting report for today, suckage. No shots, no birds from LFD. Zero. Very disappointing. Big zero. It was not cracking here today. Any last birds? I just heard. Stay uh, ready. Thought I heard one. I was probably dreaming. <laughs> 
And good morning, y'all. Welcome on back to the treehouse here now. One dove, not exactly what we were looking for for that, you know, weekend bacon wrap, maybe jalapeno cream cheese on the grill situation. I'm not going to just not eat one bird. So I'm like, what am I going to do with one bird? I'm just going to eat for breakfast. Get a little protein, and then I'm heading down to the lease. Uh, Stephanie's doing some, some travel this weekend with Emmy. So... I'm going to be heading down there and trying to go after the pond buck part two, really part three now of that quest. Before I left last time, I discovered a whole new part of the lease that I didn't even know existed. And uh, there's a feeder over there and I put a camera up before I left. So if there's some just mongoloids wandering around over there, we're going to find out too. We got to take care of our chickens as well this morning since we're going to be gone for a couple days. Anyways, I'm just going to breast this dove out, guys, and just taking the feathers, pulling them out. It's really easy on a dove. And then I'm just going to take my thumbs here, so you can see that. If y'all have never done this before, just take my thumbs and pull that skin off of there. Normally, if I'm doing a bunch of these and I have time, I'll just clip the wings off and I'll keep the whole breast. You get more meat that way. Um, I think when you cook them, you know, I'll save some for the grill where you get more meat just eating it off the bone. But since we're kind of in a pinch, we only have one here. I'm just going to go down that breastbone. There's one dovelet. And there we have dovelet number two. A little tasty morsel proteins. Let's go put them on the skillet. Fresh fruit? Uh, I see yellow. Too loud? Okay. Apologize. It's my tradition in me that I, I sing a little song as I'm cooking in the kitchen, just so you know. You'll learn these things over time. What do you, what do you think about my technique right now in these little bracelets? They're so tiny. They're very tiny. Is that going to be your breakfast? Breakfast of champions. That's going to be the extra protein. I mean, you're going oatmeal today. I am going oatmeal. So today. that happens like once a month. I'm trying to get a little extra, extra in. They look pretty good. Some nuggets. Dove nuggets with a little mango glaze morning dip sauce. Are you saying that because we already have that in the fridge? <laughs> do we actually? Well, we have I guess mango we do. Chutney. Yeah, we'll probably scrap that, and I'll probably just throw a little ketchup on there, and I'll be on my way. Dove cutlets. Literally, just butter, salt, and pepper. It's a hair gamey. What is dove? I like dove a lot better than duck, I'll tell you. Teal, wood ducks. Wood ducks. I like pretty decent. Yeah, wood duck to me. But most of the time... Not a big fan of ducks. You got a pet duck out there, you know that? Uh-huh. Mmm. Got a little hint of like the dark meat of the turkey right there. Oh dear. Tasty. Give me one day. You're gonna go on dove shoots with dad. <laughs> you're gonna go to the deer lease with dad. Uh-huh. And we're gonna hang out in the great outdoors. Does that sound good? So good. Mm-hmm. I think so too. I need pop pop. Fun times? Fun times. <laughs> Y'all gotta smash it for fun times. <laughs> Freshen it up a little bit, okay? We got fresh water feed. I refresh the coop, fresh pine shavings, and some uh, coop refresher. Girls are taken care of, just need to collect the eggs now. Give them some treats. We'll be ready to head to the lease. 
We've got oatmeal, we've got strawberries, apples, uh, some leftover bread ends, greens, but the oatmeal is key. We've got a lot of good protein. Some of them are molting right now and they need that extra protein. So I like to give them mealworms and then cooked oatmeal. Don't want to give them uncooked oatmeal, but cooked oatmeal, they absolutely love it. Come on, girls. Eat up. Did I ever picture myself with nine backyard chickens and one duck? Not really, but I gotta say, they're a little bit of work, but I enjoy them. So far in this vlog, which I've decided to fill in uh, with vlog material because I only shot one bird, and that would have been a very short video, it is time to get to some furry things. So now we're gonna head to the lease and try to get on this pond here, and we're gonna check some cameras, particularly the one camera that I just put out. I mean, this is like the lone part of the property. It is hundreds and hundreds of yards away from any other stand. And I'm thinking there might be some heathens over there. But anyway, we're gonna seek out the pond monster and see if there's any big deer on this new piece of property that I've never been to. It's that special feeling when you pull into the lease. I got one trophy buck tag left. I don't even think I'm gonna mess around with the bow. I think I'm going straight to the rifle. We're getting into late season here, so it's time to get serious. You know we gotta do it? We gotta roll down to that pond first. Hopefully this camera's still working. Well, looks like my, my bow blind got thrashed by the wind. It's all right. There's no card in the camera. I guess someone pulled it. This deer is just becoming very, very difficult to get a hold of. One SD card. Heads up. So we're about to roll up to an area that I have not hunted out here. And I put a camera up here the last time I left. No idea, no idea what kind of deer over here. It's by itself, stands alone. There could be some, some juicies. Two cards, we'll get the computer out. 3.30, we're almost to the shortest day of the year, so we don't have much time. Come on, big bucks, want you be on the cams? Show your antlers to me, man. Spikes, spikes. There's a little short buck. Shorthorn buck. Oh, wait a second. Is that, is that old palmated tin coming, coming over here? Okay. Hello. Hi. Howdy. How you doing? That is a shooter. That is just a heck of an eight. Wow. Gosh, bucks midday, and then wa-bam! That is a lot of antlers right there, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Now, we're gonna look at the completely unknown. The beastly hogs. Okay, here's some daytime photos. Does. Doe, hog central. This might be the hog mecca. Where are the antlers? Oh my gosh. We should just call this place the hog trough. Holy cow, this is the doe mecca. Jeez. <laughs> I know where I need to take Stephanie. More hogs, raccoons, hogs. This might be why there's no bucks over here. The hogs are just taking over. Holy moly. There's a buck. Little guy. First buck seen there. This is an interesting little buck right here. He's got only one brow tine. Young buck, there's a mature buck. He looks, looks like an eight pointer. I think that's gonna be about it. It is just hogs by the dozens. I'm gonna shut it down right here because it's almost four and it's time for us to, if we're gonna go sit, we need to go sit. So it's time to make some moves. The hunt bug, still strong. I'm going to do some fishing when I'm out here and hopefully the quest for the pond deer will be ended.
while I'm here. So you're going to want to stay tuned. Subscribe right here to the channel so we can get to a million subscribers and you don't miss a single outdoor action video. Thank you guys for tuning in as always. And I'll see you on the next one.